Hi guys. Blake here today with Lily's Landing Resort and Marina. Beautiful Lake Tanny Como. It is the 5th of February. A wonderful Sunday. And I'm going to do the one cast for you today. So I boated up. I am dead center of the narrows. About as shallow as you can get a boat. There are even parts of it that are touching the bottom whenever I walk around. I carefully trimmed my motor and scooted into this position and threw a hard anchor out. And I'm right on the flattest part of the gravel bar going into the drop over here. Okay, there are fish surfacing everywhere over there, midging. Um, and I'm gonna start off with a crackleback soft hackle combo. So up top here, I've got a size 14 green holographic crackleback with red hackle. And here on the bottom, I have a ruby red soft hackle. It's a ruby red thread there, and it has white and black hackle. I've got that on 5X tippet going down. This is a seven foot six three weight Echo fly rod. We do not sell these. Or sorry, this isn't my Echo fly rod. It's an Echo reel. However, the uh, fly rod was a seven foot six custom built rod by my buddy Mike with uh, some artwork from Mario's Lazina LOZ lures. Did a brown trout coming out from underneath a log taking a dry fly. So I did buy this rod specifically for dry flies and doing this kind of stuff. I'm gonna get a good cast out there over that drop off. I'm gonna hold my rod tip up at an angle, let that fly get down there. And I'm gonna stick my rod tip down in the water so I can get a good feel when the fish bite it. There's just a very, very small residual amount of current here. A little bit of wind. Nice slow drift. And I'm just gonna do some nice long strips real slowly. I have the two flies on there. No extra weight. That should be just enough to pull those underneath the surface right where I want them. Nothing officially on the first cast. Uh, yesterday's tournament turned out pretty good. There was, uh, I think, 85 teams with just a couple cancellations, so. Somewhere just a little over 80 on the number of teams. Our top three finishers all finished in the 13 pound range on an eight bag limit. Pretty impressive. Right now my flies are skimming the surface. Don't quite want that to be happening. They went underneath the water on the last throw, but looks like my crackle back is floating right now. Nah. I hold my rod tip up after the cast to kind of get a little bit of a bend in the line. You can even put a little min downstream. And once I get a little bit of a bend going downstream, I will set my rod tip in the water then. It is uh, going to be just almost 60 degrees today after a 
the week we had last week. It's a pleasant change. There we go. Oh, he came off. Came unbuttoned. Darn it. When you set the hook with such light tippet on the bite like this, when you're stripping that, you really gotta kinda set the hook and then let go and let them finish the job. Or else you will snap those flies off of there just about every time. Might have to do some finagling to get out of this spot today. I'm pretty up on the gravel at the moment. I don't, they've had the water off all yesterday and all today, so I don't think it's getting any lower. But if it did drop out any farther, I would probably have to get out and push this thing. Um, Yeah, there's a couple casts where I'm not getting it, getting it to land where the crackleback wants to go underneath the water. Uh, lots of guys in the tournament reported catching uh, amounts of fish yesterday, but just struggling to find those big ones. When I'm doing this, I am uh, picking different distances to cast at and different angles, either out in front of me or downstream. That's called quartering. Uh, just trying to swing over the different zones that are out in front of me. Try not to hit the same zone too many times in a row so the fish don't get used to seeing those flies. It's starting to get a little too hot for the sweatshirt. Oh. And of course I can play around with how fast I strip or how long the strips are. All kinds of little things you can play with when you're doing this. I also brought with me another fly rod that has a uh, Scud and a Y2K on it. I might venture towards that if I can't get much action here on the cracklebacks. Man, there are some fish midging right there, and I would love to put this crackle back in front of them, or the soft tackle. Both kind of imitate clustering of midges.
There's Captain Brett Raider over there on the left hand side. Try quartering a little more downstream here. Pick up the retrieval speed just a little bit. Some other things you could do if you felt like you weren't getting deep enough, you could put a tiny piece of split shot in between the two flies. I've done that before. There's an eagle over on Eagle Island right now. I'm not having a whole lot of luck here though. I had that one fish hook up, but might switch over to the Scud and Y2K here real soon. Try putting one more at a 90 degree and see if we can get a real bend in the line. is one of my more favorite ways to fish on the fly rod whenever the water conditions are right but regardless the fish still have to want it if you're gonna catch a bunch of fish other things I could do is switch around the size and color of those soft tackles and cracklebacks and see if it's just a matter of a uh, color or size but we don't have enough time for all that today, so I just took a guess. That soft tackle I put on the back was a size 16. Usually 14s and the 16s are about right. But there's some days where they want even smaller and some days where they like bigger. So we're gonna take one more cast with this. And then we're gonna, we're gonna pick up the scud. There's definitely a lot of fish in front of me. I just uh, aren't liking this specific presentation. I talked to Captain Brett there for a second, and he said uh, they were uh, they were hitting, but they were hitting fast. So 
little short striking going on. It would be helpful if we had a little more residual current too. Get, if you can get a, just a tiny bit more swing in those flies when you're doing this, it really helps. But the water's been turned off for quite a while, so there's just not much residual current left here at the Narrows. Okay. Well, let's see out there. I might have two and a half foot or so, so we're gonna slide this indicator down just a touch. What we have here is the Y2K little bead, about a foot below that. We have a size 16 crystal gray scud. I'm gonna set that about two foot or so. This is a five weight fly rod. Get those flies wet. There we go. See if they like either one of these flies any better. Uh, smaller to medium size foam indicator there with a toothpick. I can get the uh, cast a little bit farther out with the five weight here. We could even go a touch further and probably deepen that indicator just a little bit more but we'll see how this setting does here. I'm going to go just a touch deeper and we're going to cast a little further. There's a healthy line of fish surfacing just a little farther out than I could work that three weight fly rod. I have 6x tippet on the end of this rod, by the way. There we go. And there is just a touch more current. There was a fish. And did he get my scud? No, he did not. Okay. Just a touch more current, just a little bit deeper out there. That may have been the spot to be with the boat. Maybe I needed to be about seven or eight feet farther to the left and letting the flies swing in that little bit faster water. It's just hard to tell sometimes when you just pull up and pick a spot and go. If I had plenty of time to pre-fish, I'd probably have a little better percentages sometimes.
we go. I always keep this finger, the line locked on the other side of it. Makes it easy to get to that hook set. And he took the Y2K. How about that? I thought for sure they'd be taking the scud today. Here are some new Y2Ks that we got in the shop not too long ago. Some smaller ones than the normal ones that we sell. And that one is a yellow and orange. Little, little stalker. than that. There we go. Yeah, just a touch more current over there near the channel. So I'll remember that for the next time the water's been off for two days straight. If I come to swing some flies again. And I probably could have reached that far if I had put it on a five weight rod. A three weight's only capable of doing so much, especially when it's seven foot six. Oh, he had it in his mouth. I thought I was hung on the bottom. <laughs> okay, well, the Scud Y2K combo seems to be getting a little, a little better action here. Really good rule of thumb, though. If your bobber stops your indicator set the hook i'm trying to differentiate between when my flies are hanging on the bottom and the bite but if i had just set the hook there i would have caught that fish if it is the bottom and you go to set the hook most likely you'll just pull the flies right off and be fine so Really no harm, no foul. I'm just being picky. like to pull it in close first off it helps get that initial first cast out there again better and also I like to pull it in close enough to where I can make sure that my flies are still back there and not tangled that was a fish for sure pulled it upstream on me
go up here a little bit. A little bit above us. I can see quite a few fish working that little area. Oh, come on now. Amateur move. Wrap my flies around the fly line mid-cast. I can see quite a few fish just right where I was casting, rolling the bottom, picking up scuds and whatever else they eat. I know there's a healthy amount of worms. If you pick up a sample of the bottom here, you'll find these tiny little worms that kind of live in the rocks and in the mud. Along with sow bugs, we don't talk about sow bug flies nearly as much. They look pretty similar to scuds, but we do have sow bugs here as well. All right, a couple more casts, we're gonna call it. I'm going a little longer than I usually do now. After I missed that first fish on the... Uh, you know, I love these shoes, but they are really good at catching fly line. Just like that, again, I just cleared my foot of that. One last cast, I'm going to pull these flies in, make sure I'm not all wrapped up, which I am. And that might be a devastating wrap there. Yep, well, I don't think there's any untangling this right now, maybe. Nope, no, we don't have time for all that. <clears throat> well, we're going to call it there. A uh, little bit of action there. Definitely, they are definitely short striking a little bit. Not holding on to the bait very long, but uh, we thank you guys for watching today. Like and share us on Facebook, and <gasps> guess what? Oh, come on now. I just had you unwrapped. It wanted to give me the illusion that I had time for one more cast. Nope. Okay, it's over. All right, we thank you guys for watching. See you tomorrow.